Hi there, this is the Lasker Perk Trap from the game Lasker Perk 1935 in the Sicilian Sreveningen system. e4 and c5 the Sicilian, knight f3, e6. Lasker takes the centre with d4, after takes, takes, knight f6 targets the pawn on e4, and Lasker defends with knight c3. d6 and bishop e2, so this is a regular Sreveningen setup. Black continues with development knight c6, white castles, a6 and bishop e3, queen c7 and f4. So we've reached an exceptionally common position in Sreveningen. And black should probably continue with regular development moves such as bishop e7, bishop d7, even b5. If instead black goes for this knight a5, then c4 maneuver then he can get punished because white can exploit black's violation of the opening principle of not moving a piece twice by playing energetically with f5 opening up offensive lines and now if the knight continues to c4 white takes bishop takes c4 queen takes c4 and after f takes on e6 and f takes on e6 Lasker had planned this sacrifice rook takes on f6 after rook takes f6 and g takes f6 the queen is free to enter and invade via h5 so queen h5 check king d8 and queen f7 is hitting the pawn on f6 in the game itself perk played bishop d7 and went on to lose if we look examine this line bishop e7 getting the bishop out of harm's way and uh, defending f6, then a lovely winning line by white with this move, knight to f5, exploiting the fact that the pawn on e6 is pinned. If it takes the knight, then white's going to pick up the queen on c4. So white is threatening, queen takes the bishop on e7. If then rook e8, there's a uh, a nice win with knight takes on d6, giving up another piece, because after bishop takes on d6, bishop b6 is check. Either the queen or the bishop is going to have to interpose on c7. So if bishop interposes on c7, then we have rook d1, and that is going to be mate in a couple of moves. So this has been the Lasker Perp Trap in the Sicilian Sreveningen. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.